Hello, spelling group number two. Alex and Levi, good morning. It's morning for me. I don't, I, I don't know if it's morning or afternoon for you, but hello. Um, we're going to start off by giving you a test. I'm going to give you a test on the last... Um, actually, no, I, uh, you know what? You know what? I already gave you a test on Friday, so we won't do a test today. I'm just going to give you new spelling words. Uh, I hope you're, you found, you have, you both found your, I know Alex found his spelling book. Levi, I hope you found your spelling book. If not, just use a piece of lined paper. But we're in section K2, and I'm going to give you word number 11, I believe. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, number 11. So it's going to be on the second column of that page. And your first spelling word is going to be lady. Lay de. And in the West Coast, we say lady, but the correct pronunciation is lady. It's two syllables. Lay de. Lay de. Okay. So it, I believe it's, this is number 11. You don't have to number them. I mean, you just start on the second column. Lay. And then it sounds like an e. It is an I, lady I, but remember the rule. English words do not end in I. So when the English word ends in I, we change it from an I to a, you guys remember? A Y. Y can act both as a consonant and as a vowel. A consonant and as a vowel. In this case, it's replacing a vowel, so it's acting like a vowel. Remember why? Ya, e, i. Ya is a consonant sound. E, i is a vowel sound. So it can be an e or an i, just like the e, i. E, e, i. Okay? Lady. So it's not the second sound, it's the first one, so we don't mark it. Now, this vowel says a, lay. A, 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 which sound is that? It's a second sound. What makes it say the second sound? Any vowel at the end of a syllable will say a second sound. So the second sound we always underline, okay? Your next word is drive, drive. I bet you guys are excited to learn to drive one day. <laughs> Yay, drive. All kids uh, get excited when they learn. It's almost time for them to drive. I know my kids are. Okay, and I'm I'm in a panic. <laughs> okay, one syllable. Drive. Okay. Now this a i is saying i second sound. What is making it say it's second sound? We notice we have a letter that doesn't say anything. It's silent. Silent letters are double underlined. Double underlined. And there's five reasons why we have silent E's. The first reason would be um, it's there to tell a vowel to say its second sound. Second reason, V and U take a two. English words don't end in V and U. Third reason, C and G both have two sounds, K and G. So, Third, the third rule is to tell the ka and the ga to say s and j to say the second sound, okay? And your guys' brain is a lot healthier than mine, probably, and you remember what the fourth rule is, and I don't. I forgot over the summer, but I'll look it up. And the fifth one is um, the no job E. It doesn't have a job. It's just a silent E. There's, it's not there for any reason at all, okay? In this case... It's telling the I to say I. And so we put instead of putting a one, we just put a little rainbow line over to the E. Okay. The next word is wood. We need to gather some wood to make a campfire. Wood. One syllable. Wood. Okay, now this word has a multi-letter phonogram. Okay, can you guys identify it? It's this one. How many sounds does those two O's have? 
Okay, you're right. It has three sounds. And I believe it is oo uh, o oh. Ooh, uh, oh. Wood. Ooh. That is this oo uh. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Wood. Ooh is a second sound. The second sound, wood. And that is three. Your next word is drink. Drink. He likes to drink a lot of water. Drink. That's one syllable. Okay, I don't see any phonograms. Okay, I see a vowel. Drink. If we say drink, it's really not drink, it's drink. Eh, drink. It's a first sound. So it's not the second sound. No um, multi letter phonograms, there's nothing to mark. Okay, the next word is start. Start. The car will not start this morning. Start. I'll put it over here. Okay. I see a multi letter phonogram. I'm sure you guys know what that one is. It's a really easy one. R is in car. Start has one sound. And I don't see anything else. No other vowel or multi-letter phonogram. Start. So these are probably easy for you guys. I need to, I'm going to make my periods or my dots bigger so you can see them. So we have lady, drive, wood, drink, and start. Okay. If these are not uh, very common for you to write or to read, you're going to need to write them six times each to learn how to spell them. Every time you write them, say the word. So if you're writing drink, write drink, drink, drink. Say it as you write it. Say the sound of each of each letter, especially the multi-letter phonogram. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to give you tests on these four words. Um, I'm trying to decide. I don't think I'll give you the 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 old, the old spelling words. Just I'm sorry, four, not five. Five spelling words. So on the video tomorrow. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to give you the test, then I'm going to give you five new words, okay? So if you have any questions, call me. Uh, if you need to watch the video again, watch the video again. But uh, that's all for spelling today. There'll be another spelling video tomorrow, okay? Once you finish doing writing it six times, you can check off where it says spelling Monday. You can check that off after you're done, okay? We'll see you guys on the math video today if you haven't already seen that the math video. All right, bye-bye.